Hey friends, welcome back to the channel, Creating with Sarah. So today's video I have for you a very small Erin Condren warehouse sale haul. So if you guys want to check out what I picked up, my thoughts about it, then keep on watching. So hey there, I'm Sarah, all things creating, planning, yeah, keeping things fun and functional here on my channel. I hope that you will stick around and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you here. So today I have for you my Erin Condren really, really, really small haul. <laughs> so I just, this time around, I didn't really need anything that I was like really, really wanting except for a couple of things. And there were some items that I thought I would go back and get, but unfortunately it just sold out really fast and I will put some of those items um, in the video like a little screenshot or something but um, yeah I'm just gonna share with you what I just really wanted from this warehouse sale so it came in this really small box I'm just gonna take everything out which is only two items and then I did pick something up in store so um, yeah let's just talk about the warehouse sale in general I just felt like they didn't have a lot this time around um, the spring one was a lot bigger and they did have some great deals they had great deals on the on the canvas bags if you wanted to pick one of those up um, they had great deals on the petites um, I do have a majority of those again I did a really big haul in the spring again another item um, it was the sticker album that I thought would be really pretty for the fall that I could set up uh, I wish I wrote it. I wish I would have gotten it because it sold out really fast and I was thinking they were going to add more things because it the warehouse sale went over um, almost a week and then I wanted to see what they had in store but fortunately it sold out and in store they didn't have a whole lot it was just surprise boxes um, I felt like online they had a they had a lot more to offer um, but nonetheless, it was really great deals if you haven't shopped from Erin Condren before or there were things that you wanted to get, that's always the time to get it. So anywho, um, what I got was um, an EC Folio and I'm so happy it's in the black. It is so pretty. It is like, the black is like super black and I love it. It's like a glossy, pretty, rich black and I love it. So I'm definitely gonna change this up for October. I can't wait. I kind of wish I picked up the, they have like a champagne color um, that I could have picked up. But again, I was just trying to stay within a budget because I knew I was buying other things um, that was coming out release wise. This is the time of year where I love shopping. It's really bad. But I was so excited that I was able to get my hands on this. I bought this the first day because I knew that I wanted to, to get this. It is so pretty. I think they did have like a camel color. Not in the warehouse sale, but they have had it. And I don't know if it was there as at regular price. I don't really know. I don't remember. But that one would be pretty for fall as well. But I'm so happy, it's so pretty. Um, I love it. No scratches or bents or anything like that. Oh, I love this color. It's gonna be really great for October. And then also what I picked up is a, um, I think it's the black velvet pencil pouch. I think these sold out quick too. Um, I do have the clear one and the Hello Kitty one, and I love that this is black velvet because I do have, I think the, actually they're both Hello Kitties, or no, I don't know. I just know there's clear glitter one, and then the Hello Kitty one is gray and it's velvet. So I thought this would be nice to have for October as well. I might just take this stuff out. Yeah, so this is just a simple pencil pouch, but it's black velvet, so it's really nice and sleek. Um, and I thought these would pair well together. And of course, if I don't use it for my folio, I can use it for an extra notebook or journal or anything like that. It just loops around um, the planner itself. So really fun. I think, again, these sold out really quickly. And the other one they had was purple, but I think it was like either a canvas material or a corduroy. I'm not really sure, but I think it maybe was canvas, but I opted to get black because um, I think that's really pretty. It's a very versatile color. 
So that's what I got from the warehouse. Again, I really wish I would have picked up, I wanted to do like a whole setup system. I wanted to get the um, purple, I think it's purple. It's like a purple or blue. Uh, that's why I wasn't really sure on the color, but it was, it was really pretty. It was the sticker album that was purple or blue and it had like florals on it. And I think that would be really pretty to have like a change up in your folio system for the season. Um, unfortunately it was sold, it sold out really quickly. So the other thing that I got, cause I wanted to go in store and see maybe they had it, but they didn't. Again, they had more of surprise boxes put together. And there was someone telling me that they were all the same. So they weren't like mix matched or anything like that. So if like they had the writing tool, the student, the teacher, and I can't remember the lot. I don't think they had mid-century like they do online but definitely those three and they said that they were all the same so it's definitely wasn't like a surprise is what I was told <laughs> at the store <laughs> but the other thing that I got was this um I was kind of influenced by a friend she was asking about it and I said you know what I'm gonna go to the store I'll shoot you some pictures and stuff and um because she was just interested if if I had it and I didn't but I've, I've always thought about picking it up. It was like on a wish list. And I basically got this though for downstairs on our other office because it has, this comes in two different strap colors. It comes in rose gold and then this silver color. And I think this one would match uh, more of my home decor downstairs. So I thought this would be nice to have downstairs. And if I love it so much, I can definitely pick up another one maybe here for this, for my office. Cause it has all the acrylic and I think it will match but it's just a little acrylic organizer caddy and I thought we would open up and see what we can put in here. Okay, originally this was, I think this is like 24 something and it was half off, so it was like 12 something, but I had some points and I used towards this. So that was really nice. I think I only paid like $7 for it. Um, so it has this cute little faux leather handle with like gold hardware, it has like the plastic film on it. It has two front compartments here that has a divider, and then it has this uh, full length pocket here right under the handle. And at first I didn't know if I wanted to get this because this, this handle is super low to this area. I mean, you can flop it in like that if you wanted to, but um, if you put like sticky notes that are quite tall I could see that getting in the way but I guess it's just preference um, and then the back side is the same as the front as far as compartment wise but it's it's really cute I love the little handle on I just wish it was a little bit taller it's like a miniature a miniature little caddy holder so um, yeah, I think the surprise boxes are really cool. I think I got a layers one before, but um, I have a lot of the Erin Condren pens. I mean, not a whole lot. I'm not too fond of the gel ones. I just feel like I have so many that I keep telling myself that I need to use these some way creatively, but I don't. Um, the only thing that I do want to pick up, and I wasn't sure if I had, was the earthy tones and these finer tip ones. Um, those were on the sale, but if they bring them back or if they're in a sale sometime, I will probably pick those up just to complete my set. But other than that, I'm not looking for buying new pens. I have so many pens. But I could put these in here. But again, this is going to go downstairs where I can put our pens, post-its, highlighters. That way the family can use them. Condren pens that I think I'm good. I have like these cute, cute scissors by Erin Condren. They're like portable scissors. You could put in there. Um, you could probably add, let's see if you could add washi in here without it being crazy. You could add washi in there, but Oh, 
probably just a couple like that. And then let's see, could add some scissors, Tombow, and a glue stick. Um, you could add the sticky notes to the center. But again, I would add sticky notes that are a little bit smaller. Um, you could add some other essentials, like you could add a small lotion. Um, I have this Bath and Body Works bacterial spray you could add. Um, this is a booklet sticky note from Erin Condren. It's the Edivy. So you could definitely add that here, but you would have to have the handle down because you see how it gets in the way. I just wish this was a tad bigger. Um, yeah, because I just feel like that's too small. But if you add smaller sticky notes or if you have like miniature sticker books, those are from Hobby Lobby. Those fit. They don't really get in the way. It's nice that this adjusts though that this swivels so that you can move it out of the way because if it didn't, that would be <laughs> really hard to utilize this middle section. So you could put sanitizer, that's super cute. So yeah, I'm gonna have this um, downstairs, but I really feel like this would be cute to cart around to plan, like to your bedroom or the living room or whatever. Like for me, my I'm always like everywhere in my house. Oh my gosh, I wish I would have picked up two because this is so cute. Now that I've set it up, you can have, you know, having your washi, your tools in here, like tweezers. I have this little, this is a bone folder. It's for paper crafting, scoring, but I use it for stickers to get bubbles out and stuff or from like repositioning them and I can just use that little tool. But look how cute this is. This is adorable. I don't know if these fit. I just want to see if this fits. No, those don't fit in those slots. So I have two of these. I think these are the only booklets. They also did have the mid-century circle, I think, booklet, but it wasn't, um, they weren't this big. They were like maybe half this size and a little bit wider. These are the two that I have. You could add paper clips in here or binder clips. Binder clips are fun. You can just actually add those to the sides of the little container there. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I could play with this all day. This little container from Live Love Posh. I could probably add down here, tuck it to the bottom. So you could definitely find these little containers. They're like in the travel sections um, in your local department stores. They're like like what you would use for face cream or something. And you can add your paper clips to, to them. That way they're secure and they're not like all over the place. But I can definitely... Um, put phone chargers in here, headphones, something more functional to the family. But again, this would be so cute to cart around uh, for planning. It just fits everything. So cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. So that's pretty much it for my Erin Condren warehouse sale. Um, again, I hope you guys took advantage of that, especially the petite system. They did have a lot of the folio covers. Um, let me just share. They had this one. This is layers, I think. Let me grab the other colors that I have. So I have three other ones here. I have, um, I think this is stars something or starry eye. <laughs> I forget what this is called. This one was not in the warehouse sale, but I just wanted to share this one up close. But um, I used this one quite a bit. This was my very first one. And you can see that some of the foiling on the stars have kind of rubbed off a little bit. And this one I did get my initial embossed at the bottom. Um, then this is Lagoon. This one actually was in the warehouse sale. Um, it's a really pretty like sea foam color in my opinion. It's not like on the website where it looks like a bright aqua color. It's not that color at all. Um, it's more like my scissors here. 
So that's Lagoon, and then this one is, I don't know the name of this one, but it's the Mid-Century Circle design. This one was fun. I got this one for the spring, or in February, maybe. Really cute. So those are the folios that I have. They do give you like this little card about the folio system, and then it gives you a little glimpse of the colors that they did have. I know they had like this flower one was really pretty, and then this champagne one was one that I was gonna grab. And they had the charcoal one in the warehouse sale and the sapphire. Um, I wish they would bring like a purple. I don't know if what they're gonna have for the fall. Um, they did post on their feed about it, and I was just like, when are they coming out? And they were just like, you'll just have to sign up for the emails, and you know, I am part of that, so <laughs> I just can't wait to see if they're gonna come out with covers. I really hope so. But yeah, guys, that was what I got from the warehouse sale. Um, I hope you guys were able to take advantage of some of that, and this was fun sharing with you this cute little caddy organizer. It's super cute, totally worth it. You could fit so much in here and customize it to your needs. But thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video, and I hope that you will subscribe. So take care, stay safe, and happy planning. Bye!